how to build your very own backtest using Python. How are we going to do that in this video? Well, my previous video was all about how you could create your very own first candlestick chart, put technical analysis indicators, get it to a stage where it's tradable. That's what the output looked like there. And what we're going to turn it into is this. And that's got signals overlaid on the chart and it's got the backtest results so you can you know, draw your own analytical conclusions from the results. But what I'm going to do here is use that video previously on the candlestick creation. We're going to take all that code, um, the data, we're going to expand it from one year to five years worth of data, produce a simple moving average crossover um, strategy. Like I said, get the back test results. So please use that previous video in conjunction with this one. Um, the code is really just an upgrade of of that video. So like I said, use them together and you'll be able to hopefully go away and produce your own backtesting engine. So let's get started. So again, making this easier to follow like I've done in other you know, Python type coding videos, I've used the hashtag comments um, function, allows me to put comments by the code without you know, messing up the code um, so you can follow it exactly um, and understand what each line is doing. A bit of blurb at the top there about what this system is all about. Um, coding um, of the strategy there. I suppose a, a tip when you're putting code together is, you know, it's very useful to have these comments, maybe not so much as this, but putting comments down there. So when you revisit it, you know what's going on or other, you share it and other users know what's happening um, in terms of the imports nothing really changed from our previous video we got those libraries um, you know the default and the um, sort of outsourced uh, libraries uh, to take there to use to give us our tools to build our um, back testing engine and the chart and number two there and like I said in previous videos, I code through um, with these uh, breaking it down into blocks as well. So as you can see here we got um, number two user tweakable parameters. Um, so I could have, I suppose, dropped down a drop down box or input box that allows you to change the um, moving averages. For example, after you see your results, you don't like them, you want to change around, you want to see if there's anything better. Um, for example, but in this instance, I've just left them coded into here. And you could, in fact, if you want to change them, say from 20 to 50 to 10 to 100, whatever combination you want, really. Um, so that's the crux of the uh, strategy. We've got five years of data. Previous um, chart that we built in the other video was only one year. So I've expanded it to five years. So get a bit longer. Obviously, is that the right, wrong length? Well, that's up to you as the trader analyst or you know dif deciding whether that is suitable or not um, then we create output folders and then we move down to data range uh, download and normalization um, data range and download what's that saying well saying on get, getting five years of daily candles from yahoo finance um, also previously mentioned that why finance versions sometimes were well, different ones reshape the columns so i run the result through a normalizer that flattens multi-index headers standardizes the column names forces numeric types and drops incomplete candles and that means mpl finance um, gets what it needs to do its stuff and you can see that that's in section three there data range and download so we're pulling that part of history back and here's our normalization um, chunk of code normally one of the biggest parts of my code here and i've given explanations by each for why you're actually um, using that and then we move slowly down to the indicators obviously this is a simple crossover uh, moving average system you can get as complex as you like, but you know, some got to start somewhere. So this is the easiest strategy to um, probably build. And it just tells you the rules as well about going long and flat out, you know, how you get in, 
uh, how you get out um, and then we go into number seven here returns and equity curves so we want to try and start getting our back test um, information um, all summarized so returns here based on adjusted close so um, splits and dividends don't distort the truth um, I build a buy and hold equity curve as a baseline so we can compare to and the strategy equity curve using our lagged position just going back a bit to the um, indicators and signals also built in um, a bit of code there um, around the 2050 moving average um, basically I'm shifting the positions by one day um, so execution happens on the next bar and, and so I'm trying to get rid of some look ahead bias from the um, calculations of the back test there and then if we keep scrolling down the code um, what do we come to next we've got trade list and simple costs so you know you've got to factor in for example um, you know the cost of the trade um, we've got an entry list an exit you know date um, list price return how many bars you know you hold it for the trade is still open at the end you know I'll close it on the last bar and for costs you know i apply a simple drag at each exit you know it's not full slippage model but it's clean conservative adjustment um, you know for examples like this um, metrics this is where it gets fun for me um, what can we see well, we've got a whole load of metrics in here. We've got drawdown, um, CAGR, annualized sharp, um, exposure, consecutive, you know, wins, loses, you know, runs there, and some trade level stats, win rate, a number of wins, average trade, profit factor, median trade, um, average bars, all those um, stats that you would really want to be looking at. Um, daily net returns of the strategy and some core metrics right there um, highlighted built out to stand out for the analyst um, obviously the benchmark that we're measuring it against as well and like i said that's summarized in the um, you know, coding there um, for the things that we've been um, adding in for our analysis and then basically we get down to um, saving, um, producing this output. That's what number um, 10 is all about. Um, detection 10, save CSV artifacts for reference testing. And that moves us into 11 and we're, where we want one window. I didn't want like multiple windows. I wanted all the data, the chart, the signals, the analysis, all in one window. And that's what uh, number 11 is all about. It's how it's um, configured and tweaked to look nice um, and presentable. So for the user, as you can see, a lot of code in there to do that. And then number 12, draw the signals um, chart into our axis using MPL Finance. Um, and then well to enhance the visualization of it i put markers on the chart for where we get in and out the buy and sell markers and then we go into making the chart all colorful um, and organized looking good aligned nicely and then we basically you know produce the output and that's all very easily to do we just go up to the top right hit the play button so it's telling us we've pulled five years of tesla history and we produced our epic end results and there they are so let's just take a quick look through what those results are telling us so in the top left we have our standard chart but notice the red and green triangles that's the buy and sell um signals laid on top of our chart you can see the 2050 moving average below that the volumes that gives you a visualization of when the signals are executing top right we've got the actual 
our back test results over the five years. And you can see it's not a fabulous strategy. Um, max drawdown, 56% there. Um, only 14 trades over the five years. Um, win rate, 42%. Profit factor, I suppose, one and a half. Not bad. It's a real long term drawn out one. This one um, tells you, you know, that's an interesting stat there. Max consecutive losses, four in a row. So over that period of time, you'd have been losing for a long old time so some interesting stats in there as well and then below that we have the um, equity curve which is the blue line and then we've got this um, comparison um, using the buy and hold line if you just bought tesla at the start and left it to the end well that was better than doing the trading in this um, strategy and below that we've also got the drawdown um, as well we said we mentioned it it peaked at um, was it 56 57 percent so not very good but that just shows you the journey the ride to the negative side that you would have been um, playing through over that period but the real aim of this video wasn't necessarily the quality of the back test it was to show you how you can quite easily quite quickly um, with a bit of python knowledge um, get hold of data um, create some signals get a back test and you can start seeing the results of your ideas and that can aid you in many many ways whether it's psychology you know, was it the right time to put on the trade you know are you running the right strategy um, yeah so many things that this can be useful for and take you to the next level of trading so there you go there's the code to get you you know from basic chart all the way through to a very good looking back test that's going to help you make some very important trading decisions now appreciate i think there's about nearly 400 lines of code there that's a lot to take in in a video so if you're nice to me send me an email and i'll do this by email um, and let me know that you want the code i'll send you the file over so you can you know take a look at the code yourself rather than you having to get out the magnifying glass in this video and see what I've been um, doing. Hopefully that will help you um, there. But hopefully you've enjoyed the video and just got the idea of how important, you know, using tools like Python is to elevate your trading to the next level. And if you really got into the um, Python stuff, you're new to it, um, you want to learn more, then got something special for you now got a new course coming out in january um, python for trading it's broken down into three different segments if you're completely new to um, python uh, it will take you from zero to hero there so you don't need any you know background in python before to do this um, e-learning course then the middle section is all about you know trading you know all the different um, things you'll need to know from like we've seen how to put back tests together how to use technical analysis how to use indicators create signals um, there's you know, um, exercises all the way through so you can even build your own fully automated trading system here you know, how do you api into data you know i can go on and on and on and then the final section is all about machine learning the future of you know maybe automated trading an introduction to that give you some models to test and play with there as well and if you actually um, jump over to my website here you go www.thestophunter.co.uk head to the top tab there python for trading click on that it's going to give you everything you need to know about the course you want to check out the full content you can download it there but what's the special offer i was talking about well it's this first hundred seats um, 119 pounds only plus you get a free ebook choice between samurai trading code or the renko chart trading revolution once those first 100 seats are gone and they are going at the moment then it jumps back up to its full price 199 pounds it's out in january so if you want to get it there's the button for you right there um, hit it and then you know get your hands on it so hope you've enjoyed that video um it hopefully it's given you an insight in what you need to do to you know be a python coder and get you know some key um 
tools under your belt to take your trading to that next level. Really, the world is moving more towards automation. It's more easier than ever to do. Like I said, I've shown you that Python course if you really want to get into it. I think that's an ideal starting place we're in. Don't forget that special offer because um, once it's gone, it's gone. Also, don't forget to watch the video. Um, it was a great lead in to this one about uh, creating your first candlestick chart in Python. The code there, very relevant, help you sort of build um, into this next stage. Um, what else? Well, really all to say is thanks for watching. Um, if you've liked the video, please do give us the thumbs up. Um, it all helps the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell notification buttons. Lots more content coming your way. Love to also hear your thoughts on Python and automation. What are you doing in that space? So all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you in that next video.